Are Asian women having a moment in Hollywood? Or is it just Michelle Yeoh? We got to talk about it. Joining us today is seven-year comedy veteran Kiki Young from Hong Kong to LA. Yay, what up? Kiki Young. I haven't ever heard somebody pronounce my last name like a Hong Kong way. How do people normally say it? Young. Or is it Young? I'm like, just forget it. Just Kiki. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, Kiki, you're coming from LA. Originally, you're from Hong Kong. Yeah. You are the founder of Crazy Woke Asians show in LA, which we're going to talk about, yeah. you know, because we are the founders of Asianology in New York City. But uh, yeah, we want to talk to you about like Asian women in Hollywood because you're in Hollywood or you're in, you know, you're in the scene. So and I'm Asian and a woman. So. Yeah, right, right, so right. So you can, you're clearly an expert on this topic. Such so. an expert. Tell me, ask me any questions. Well, make <laughs> sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Check out Smala Sauce at smalasauce.com from Sichuan to Sicily. I would say that this outfit is whole TVB. Whole TVB? You, you, uh, Andrew, is this a TVB outfit? Oh, man. Is it TVB? The Kanto jokes are coming out. TVB? I actually worked on a, a movie with them, TVB Tri Triumph in the Skies. You know that show? It was all these airplane is this TVB pilots. In North America or TVB Hong Kong? Oh, Hong I Kong. went back to. Yo, real quick, funny story before we get into it is that the last time we saw Kiki in person, uh -huh. COVID had just started, <sighs> and L we were doing a comedy show, and COVID was just going around, and there was news stories, but there wasn't a shutdown yet, and we were like the last comedy show ever and then it shut down yeah, there was a that. lot of covid jokes at that yeah. time and nobody knew how to laugh in the crowd about right. it right because yeah. it was still like uh, people were dying so you know yeah it was weird we people, couldn't help it no people didn't know what was going on we didn't we didn't know we what needed happened. to set the record straight we don't eat bats right or we do no i don't we, me, I, anyways <laughs> at this point um who knows? it doesn't matter um what's going on with older asian women in hollywood right now or is it just michelle yo I think it's just Michelle Yeoh. I mean, there are some Asian women, but like you say older, she's older. Yeah, she's so, older for sure. She's but not older, too right? old. She looked great. Wait, uh, so we're addressing the fact that Michelle Yeoh is in like everything. Dude, yeah, she's everywhere. in everything. I would say, All in once. my opinion, yeah, that's fine, but I would say <laughs> Michelle Yeoh is in four TV series and 10 movies a year. Correct me if I'm wrong. Say I'm wrong. She might be in 15 things a year. I'm saying she's working... At, at a Hong Kong pace, mm. which is very quick, if yeah. you guys know, but in American projects. Yeah. Yeah, that's so amazing. I'm so proud. You know, I grew up watching her. Her, her Chinese name is Yang Zi King. And I watch her. She play all these, you know, like kick ass females. Oh, she has the same last name as you? Yeah. Oh, it's Me a, and her like Yeung. that. <laughs> so yeah, she's a Yang, but she just spells it because she's from yo. Malaysia. They spell it Yo. Yeah. I didn't realize oh. until she won the Oscar. I'm like, oh, yes, Yo. <laughs> oh, what do you think that everybody would say if her name was Michelle Young? I'll be like, yeah. No, but what, would they learn how to say it properly? They'll be like, Michelle Young. <laughs> yeah, well, it'd be like Tony Learn, right? Because some people say Tony Learn, but that's mostly uh, Asians. Most, uh, I guess, non-Asians call him Tony Lung. If I, they get, know I guess, Lung. how is it that Michelle Yeoh is in everything? Does she just embody the perfect Asian mother and she's also a badass? She knows... Like, well, I mean, a badass as in she knows Kung Fu, you know, uh, for, for, for movies. And it's like, like, why is she, does she, to her, to you, mm. what does she embody, Kiki? I want to know from a woman's perspective, you're also a mother yourself. Yes. Like, what, what is, from your perspective, what is it? She's like a superhero from my perspective. Because like I said, I watched her since I was like five years old in Hong Kong. She could fight. She won, didn't she win a pageant? Yeah. Miss, she won Miss Malaysia. Malaysia, right? And then she I mean, married she's beautiful. Dixon Poon. And then, but yeah. I guess what, what does she represent in America? white people love her. What role is she filling that like everybody needs? Like, she don't have to be perfect. She's like the, the three-dimensional Asian woman. She's like, in everything, every, she's just like haggard and tired. And she's like progressive too, right? She In the movie, she accepts her, her daughter is gay, right? So I feel like it's like, she can speak English very well too. And she can fight. So there's that dimension where she's like the laundry lady. Then suddenly she's kicking your ass. Yeah, I, I agree with you that her ability to play this like rich old money mother and crazy yeah. rich Asians. And like you said, this haggard blue collar woman mm -hmm. and then everything almost in between. Mm -hmm. She has a gigantic range yeah. of like, I guess, Asian female archetypes Ooh. that she authentically pulls off, right? Yeah. yeah. She's versatile. And she's tall, taller too, you know, Ooh. beautiful. She, you know, I don't know. What the, I saw her in real life one time. She's not that tall, but, oh, really? but her dimensions tall. is. <laughs> her dimensions feels very tall. Play tall. Like, yeah. Elegant. Yo, is she, is she still a MILF? 
Well, she's not a MILF. She's not a mom. Yeah, right? she's not a mom. So she's so is actually that the mis- secret to being a MILF Wait, is never she's having not a mom. Never been. So Michelle Yeoh technically is not a MILF. Yeah. Even though she's really, she's not a MILF. She's not. That was the most, that was the whole point of this video for me. That's what I wanted to start. <laughs> um, you know, it's like crazy. And, and I'm not trying to be a downer at all right now, but it's like in the news, there's just a, like a lot of older Asian women in there. Even uh, RIP to Angela Chow, which was, I believe, Elaine Chow's younger sister, very prominent family. But it's just like, I don't know. It's like, it just feels like it's just a regular part of the news section. It's like a, it's a part what, of the news. What do you news. mean? What do you mean specifically? No, like older what Asian a- women news. I'm saying it's just- Older like, Asian women I'm news. I'm just saying it's part of the news section. Yeah. It's got its own, it's like the sports, you know, lifestyle, food. Oh, like it's got- That they care now, like yeah. about the saying, older like, Asian women well, who are rich that, and famous. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Well, is it logical because for, if there's a lot of successful or rich and famous or well-to-do or, or notable Asian women just in every industry, then if something happens to them, it is news and we'll hear about it. It's like Wendy Dang, you know, like- like, if no, something it, happens to her, we're going to hear about it. That's going to be big news. Probably. You trying to play Wendy Ding? Uh, what? Are you trying to play Wendy Ding in the, in the, in the new things that come out, the, the media pieces? Who is Wendy Ding? You don't know Wendy <laughs> Ding? <laughs> I've heard That's of her. That's unbelievable. But, like, not top of my mind. I am a mom to an eight-year-old terrorist. I don't have <laughs> time to, like, who is Wendy Ding? Why should I care? Because she's you rich? Sh- no, you should care because if they make... A- no, Something they, they, about her in Hollywood, you're well, going to yeah, go out then for I'll, Like the crazy rich Asians. Then I, I, I like, went and did research. I bought the book. I auditioned. I did the whole thing. Like, yeah, when that happens, I would. So do, who did you audition for? Which role did you Both audition for? Both of them. The, the pretty one and the Constance Wu thing. You know, they had the oh, whole how, search. How, how many tiers of the audition process did you make it through? Uh, I don't. I just put some. They had every. Right, all right. my friends were. And my manager was like, you should dress up and like do the whole. So I had the whole like, because one of the scenes were where she's like black tie event right. when the husband is cheating on her. I was like, wow, you really got me to dress up for all this. But it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you went out for Gemma Chan and Constance Wu. Yeah. And it was self tape. There were millions of tapes right, right, on right. the YouTube. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they picked, they picked the girl that sing Chinese song to be in the movie. It was trying to pick someone. To well, y'all yeah, need a... Yeah. Um. <laughs> and the, 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 the yellow song. Kwa, you know, that right, song. Right, right. She sang, yeah, that's who they picked. So let's just talk about Asian women in general, though. Let's just sure. take it off of Michelle Yeoh and like the 70-year-old Asian women. She's the one dominating. Shout out to CeCe Lau, who was our YouTube oh. mom. From our, do you know oh. Cece in LA? Yeah, I've yeah. done, she played my mom once. Yeah, yeah she's oh, short hair. Yeah, she's super Shout funny. Shout out to Cece. Yeah, Cece. she's the only other Chinese mom that I know of in Hollywood that plays a lot of stuff. But anyway, I she, feel yeah. like she oh, does more commercials. And, and Lee Chen, Lee Chen oh, yeah. too. She plays Sherry Cola's mom in um, Good Trouble. Yeah, Good Trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lee Chen. Uh, so, but I guess like, I guess our Asian women... Does it is it obvious that they're doing better than Asian men in Hollywood, or actually, do, how do you view it? Because I you're feel in like the scene. I it's the same. It's just Michelle Yeoh won the Oscars, so that was like another level. But last, oh, oh, Oscars didn't Ki Huey Kwan win the supporting actor yeah. Oscar? Yeah, he did. And then th- this year, Golden Globes didn't the whole who won the didn't a bunch of people Asian people win beef? stuff? No, they won for beef. Beef, yes, beef. Yeah, that's yeah, and uh, everything everywhere all at once swept. Yeah, I think and beef swept a lot, so I feel like it's pretty even. Like Ali Wong's doing great; she's older too, but not as old as Michelle. Right, you know? right, but, right. Yeah. Um, she's do, a milf. Does it feel like that Hollywood is just rotating like ten to fifteen different Asians for everything right little now? A little bit, a little bit, but that's how it goes, right? I feel like at least. They're thinking, ooh, we're giving them a choice, a, a chance, you know? Yeah, we're no. putting them out there, rotating the 15. I, I guess for the people who are outside of that 15, yeah. like yourself in LA, you mm-hmm. go out to a lot of auditions, whether that's TV, commercial, movies, or whatever like that. Does Where does that leave you? Because you're like, well, I'm not part of that 15 that's like getting everything, yeah. but yeah. I want to be in there, or yeah. I don't want to be in. Obviously, you want to, but of like- course. 
I guess, what do you think? Because you're, you're probably with everybody else in the audition room that's not yeah. part of that and inner circle. And these days they're doing self-tapes a lot. So you don't even see the other people. But I know from the few Asian actresses that I'm friends with, they all submit to the same thing. It just goes out, boom, to everyone. And then probably out of state too. Right. So it's a crap this- shoot. I don't even expect anything. These days I'm just like, I'm having fun. I'm just filming it for fun. Because... They're gonna. They already have a few choices in mind, and it's if those people are like, no, 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 then maybe. Then they'll take a look at the audition tape yeah. pool, right? Well, they mm. say they always look at all the audition tapes, but I, I, I respect the casting director. They, they probably fight for the one favorite that they have, but you're still like here. So right. unless you pop off with your comedy special, mm. it's like, mm. so okay. you gotta love this. To Let, do it. Let's talk about some roles that you went out for that you submitted for. Like, what are some of the roles that are floating out there? Aside, you you went out for Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. Did you go out for Brother Son? All these other shows that not we Brother Son. I'm not Taiwanese. Uh, uh, well, I didn't act. I quit acting for like a year, so I just started again. But before that, I did like a like Hulu, Apple. Apple had a series. It was like a series about immigrant mom. Uh-huh, and okay. they were like Cantonese or Mandarin. Of course, I submit the tape with all speaking. Hello, Le Ho, like all improvising, yeah. excited. They they chose Mandarin. Like every time they say Cantonese, it always ends up to be Mandarin. Mm. Right. Um, well, yeah. I guess we could talk about that because you're from HK. You, Hong Kong. Right. And you're like HK, HK. <laughs> I'm a like, Hong Kong. No, Hong you're Kong. from like British HK. <laughs> yeah, British. I can yeah. speak British right now. From the British I HK. I got rid of my accent yeah. to be Americanized. But I guess now everything is shifting more towards Mandarin just due to, I guess, just China. market marketability, right? Demographics yeah. and things like yeah. that. Where does that leave you? Because your Mandarin is pretty shaky, right? Yeah, Compared- very shaky. I go Google Translate. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, is that a limitation in terms of yeah. what roles you can go out for? Obviously, in the 90s, it would have been more Canto or HK centric Chinatowns and things like that. Do yeah. you, do you feel like that I is a, that. is a limitation? Or? Yeah, they always want me to play the Mandarin. You speak Mandarin. You fluent in Mandarin. My my agent before always you fluent, right? I'm like, mm, <laughs> I'll Google <laughs> Translate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ni hao, and then they make you speak, and then once I speak more, they'll no matter what, I get my Mandarin speaking friends to help me. It's still like. Uh, you know, <laughs> is it kind of like my dad saying shit, shit, knee? Yeah, it it's like, like se, a se baby. Se yes. se <laughs> Not that bad, but once they give a dialogue, you just f- free flowing, improvising in the right. where you have to find your own sentences, yeah, and then it's idioms like, and yeah. realism. And then yeah. you know what? I'm so annoyed when they try to speak Cantonese. They always sound so bad, and sometimes you know it's not even Cantonese. They just, you know, in the movies and the TV sometimes, I still see that oh, sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cantonese is, we need to bring it back. How do we bring it back? Let's, Let's just talk start about speaking it. Cantonese the rest of this, and you guys have to go Google Translate what we say. How are well, I, I gotta, you, like I gotta sicka. tap out. I'm, you gotta tap out. Sick, 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 tang, sick, sick, tang, sick, 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 Siu oh. siu 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 siu. Yeah, not siu siu. Siu siu is burning. All right, barbecue. well, I'm already out. I'm already out, David. <laughs> David, you're the only uh, one left. You <laughs> did you try to go out for like expats or uh, with Nicole Kidman? Ex- or they just found COVID. local. They just found local. That was HK COVID. If right. I was in Hong Kong, I think I would have done something because I worked in Hong Kong. Did you Hong ever Kong. think about moving back to HK and doing? I did it for there? a little bit. And you were just doing entertainment and comedy in HK. Uh, I didn't start doing comedy yet when I went back before I had my son. That was like eight years ago. But I. I worked on, like I said, that TVB series turned movie, and I worked with uh, who Wilson Yip. He did like a, you know those movies, Yam Da Wa. I worked with Gu uh, Tin Lok, Louis Ku, Sammy Chung. If you pop up the photos, I'll know. But you yeah, pop, I know, pop, I know pop, Sammy Chung. You know, yeah, course, she's yeah. awesome. We went to London, and then we, we they filmed that movie there. So I worked on shows production side, and I had like you know feature role. Mm. But I just working my way up there. It's it's tough, you know. It's not easy. Well. Let anybody watching, if you need somebody to embody British HK, yeah. hit up Kiki Young because that is your true My gong. My true gong, yeah, yeah. Kiki Young. Okay, let's build out a character for you right now. Yeah. Where in HK are you from? Which MTR stop do you get Which off MTR of? Daibo. Daibo. <laughs> <laughs> New territories. That's where I live. Hong Lot Yun. That place is cool. That's in a way where the okay, real HK is dra- right now. All right, yeah. a drama based out of the new territories. Yeah. Not Hong Kong Island side. Who gives a F about Hong Kong Island yeah. side? That's just all Western, whatever, expats, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Causeway Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, take it out to new territories. Yeah. Right. That's where the drama is because those are the new communities. Yeah. No, that's so where all the 
really gully stuff happens How about in this new territory. Real, real housewives of yeah. the new territories. Oh, that sounds like a new <laughs> series. Come on. <laughs> yeah, new. and then I have my eight year old terrorist. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Wait, wait, when you say you terrorist, I, we got to know, like, what, wait, what the do you sateen, mean? The Sateen housewife. Oh, I lived there too. I grew up Sateen. And then I moved to New. You, you know what David's version. favorite a uh, joke like kanji is the satin satin Ooh, satin gai zhong. Yeah, satin. Ooh, that's so good. If you so guys good. don't know about the satin gai zhong, yeah, the satin gai zhong is like chicken porridge is the bomb. So that's not the same satin, is it? It is. It is the same satin. So, t- so it comes from satin. I think so. Yeah. That's what I always thought. Yes, Listen, Hong Kong people. That's probably <laughs> the number one Hong Kong dish that people in America don't know about. Update mm. your Canto. <laughs> Firmware pack. Yeah. I think the other one would be the uh, what's it called the the coconut chicken hot pot. Oh yeah, that's another more. Oh. That's a newer one. I'm yeah, not. Yeah, that's even, newer one. Right. But yeah, that's I'm good. talking about satin gai zhou. Oh, get them. Gai all right, guys. You know what? We're gonna wrap up this video, but we got another one with Kiki coming out soon. So stay tuned. Check out her Yay. stuff down below. Kiki, oh, you're oh, no, no, real. She's like, based in LA. We got one more point. We have to address this, Andrew, because you started crazy woke Asians. Right? Yes. So everybody, oh, I'm not woke. <laughs> I woke up. I was brushing my teeth. Stay woke. I'm like, I'm sick of this. All this white people, no Asian on the show. So I'm like, let me put this together. So you're saying you were literally just listening to Childish Gambino. Yeah. Stay woke. I'm like, I am So you woke. didn't mean I'm woke as in no. like politically woke. No. No. And I tell them when I go and say, I'm not woke. I woke up. And then they, sometimes they expect. But back then when I started it, it was woke just, Asian just standing there talking Doing comedy, you know, yeah. right? Like, You're that talking was about woke with, in itself within the context of that era. Yeah. Just the fact that Asians were on stage yeah. doing an all Asian comedy show yeah. was already woke AF. A- but a- then, but then they took your term, and they took you know. Boo. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I don't even know what. So what that they means. appropriated woke from you. Yeah, <laughs> they did. What the hell? All right, guys. No, we got another video with Kiki. So stay tuned. If you guys <laughs> like her, you like the vibe. Yeah, check yeah. her out. Follow her. Uh, she's in okay. LA doing comedy. And uh, all right, until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Peace.